Hello everyone! Welcome back to our tutorial about car visualization. In this video I want to show you the very powerful and very nice software. It's called HDR Light Studio. You can download and get uh, some trial version on the website. It's called uh, Light Map. So and there you can get the trial version and you can see that uh, in gallery there are uh, lots of very interesting images and as you can see there are lots of uh, lots of um, like advertising uh, advertising images so um, you can find some some my images there also uh, so and I really like to use this software and I do I do it a lot so I use this for this and for, for many many others so let me introduce and show you this software as I said we are do we are creating like the main uh, hero image with uh, like HDRI sphere and then we want to uh, to get some like extra lightings, extra passes. So, when you install um, uh, HDRI software, you can get uh, the small windows like with a specific connection. And and let me prepare. Actually, we need right now for now the car with rear view angle and we need to keep camera okay so uh, and yeah we need to create uh, when you can see this be sure that you have a uh, v-ray um, as a main uh, rendering setup and you have some uh, uh, dome HD dome dome V-ray light. So, but you can create the new one, um, and let's call it HDR Light Studio. Okay, and now you can press uh, the start button. It will ask you what exactly light do you want to use. Yes. Let's start to use and <coughs> software will be opening. Let's wait for a little bit and here run unlicensed demo version. Okay. So, and uh, at the beginning we, we don't see something, so, but I will show you, I, 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 I'm not going to show like all the features, again it can be some separated tutorial, but just for you, for now and see what exactly you can use. So, view. You can choose. Uh, now we need to um, export uh, our car to 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 the software because we will be using this. Um, just let me move the light. What we have here. You're ready. So, selected only, and yeah, it's uh, it's saying you that when you're using select only, be sure that part that the camera is part of your selection. It's important because, as I said, depending on the camera angle, there will be different uh, different uh, camera position. And press the export scene.
So and it will start to export the model. And as you can see here, now we've got now we've got like our our view with our car. So and we can navigate and make it a bit closer. So and at the basic setup, uh, we have uh, uh, like the general simple gradient light as a here, but we can upload uh, our our sky, what we actually used. So let's use here's the button like picture background, and it's loaded again. It's like the layers in Photoshop, and now we can choose the image and on our desktop we have the image it will ask you to convert uh, to specific uh, specific format and yeah usually I uh, recommend for you to convert this okay so um, GB, GB, yes so and uh, in general what we see when we upload this model, um, yes, it can uh, now. It can have uh, just the simple, uh, the simple clay material. So, simple clay material. But if you push the uh, the uh, like the play button here you will see actually uh, like 3ds max will be exporting uh, uh, exporting the scene with all the car shaders it's like uh, we'll start uh, the render and you will see here some settings and yeah there are our our settings okay now we can move uh, let's let's spin the uh, the our HDRI sphere, how it was in our previous uh, in inside for this Max, and um, here's the the placing. You can change this. So. Yeah, and for now we can stop it here because it uh, doesn't work very fast. So, and for now we can we can work only with this window, and then we will see there. So, okay, let's let's find the position for the light. Okay can be something like that and now what we can do and we can actually switch off all the lights and now you have some different presets here like a softbox even with some specific details just drag and drop it to inside the image and uh, the main coolest thing you have here inside uh, the software you have kind of like the brush and you can click on some part of the car and uh, the light will be placing in exact this place where you are showing like okay we need uh, i want to get some uh, reflection for example on the mirror and click on the mirror so and i want to keep it uh, for example on the back part and it will be here it's uh, it has a uh, different uh, uh, different light paint uh, options. It's uh, for reflection. See, when I uh, click uh, the brush, there will be replacing the light for showing reflection. But if I want to keep uh, illumination, like the lighting, for example, I want to light this part. Click and the light will be placing to exact this place to illuminate this area, or I want to put it there or here. So, and see, I want just the hold and and move and it will place the light automatically to exact area what I need to light so and that's that's very cool and yeah let me 
place it, for example, here. And let me add one more light, like another, for example, reflection or softbox or something. And I can use it, for example, for reflection. I can place it there. Yeah, just try to imagine that there could be some, uh, I don't know, some window. And also, yeah, we can create a window, for example, uh, at the right part behind the uh, behind mm, behind the camera area, uh, so it can be some specific like window what reflect what uh, is very bright because it reflects the sun from the left side. So yeah, and we can add some nice details. So like adding some extra reflection so it we can start to shape okay let's try to add some kind of window here's the studio lights but you can choose for example all of them and see many many different stuff so even some mm, some like some windows so you can change you can change the brightness for example just for a little bit to keep some some details on the car and yeah you can add something else uh, for example let's try it mm, another one I don't know what's this but yeah okay it can work maybe maybe not we'll see it later so but yeah it can be for some some details for example here Also, it can light a little bit this part. Oh, I don't know. Let's see something, anything else. Let's take some, some gradient. No, it's too big. Again, some more extra light. Maybe it, it can be again some more reflection no i think it's it can be also too much yes yeah, sometimes it's difficult because sometimes you can place and it looks too much so in general you can mostly do everything with more more simple and smaller smaller lights let's put it for illumination just to make some some rims a bit more nicer and more make it a little smaller but brighter for example and yeah you can drag and drop it this one is here also and okay let's place anything else yeah for example this small one but as a reflection yeah it can be for some for showing the nice the nice line here maybe not so bright but again just for reflection let's create one more and place make it for example make it longer and see we can get a nice 
can get a nice reflection down here. So just, I don't know, for something, because we're in some concrete environment and it could, 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 be, could be different. But yeah, just jump back and see settings. Let's uh, hide hidden and make a rough render. See, and here we have just some extra, extra lights. So, and you can see like, okay, some reflection here looks, looks really nice. So not super happy about some, some place on the side. We can, we can change this for a little, just select this and, and place it again. Maybe something like this. Make a start rough render again. Yeah, it looks better. So now we can turn on the um, the our uh, sun background and make one more render. We can actually uh, I prefer to to render it a little separately. So because it. I can control in, I will be able to control in it um, in Photoshop what exactly I prefer. So make some uh, things stronger or softer because uh, if, I, if I do everything in one render, it will be a bit more difficult uh, to, mm, to change or fix something, uh, anything in, 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 uh, inside Photoshop. So, and yeah, I prefer to make few renders, like one of them with basic HDRI and another one with, uh, with some extra lights. So, also, yeah, let's see on some extra lights. Yeah, it's in general some nice details and I can add more. It, again, it's, it's more like some taste things. You're just trying to, to, to shape it a bit more. So, this is what I wanted to show you about HDR Light Studio. As you can see, it's very powerful uh, stuff, not only for car visualization, you can use this software even for uh, any other like product uh, things, like for watch, uh, for, I don't know, for, uh, for, for mouse, for iPhone, for anything. So anything what what uh, you used with uh, some some studio lights so with simulating so thank you for watching this video in the next video uh, i will show you quickly the one of the popular question about caustics in v-ray we will talk shortly about what caustics is and how to achieve and get them inside v-ray see you in the next video